You know, in the movies, there's always the getaway driver. Well, I've always wondered exactly what it takes. And today, I'm going to get a lesson in the ultimate vehicle, the hovercraft. Let's go! There's something so James Bond about hovercrafts, but Gary Patnode from Air Rider International swears he can teach me how to handle one in no time. Now, where are the brakes? No brakes in a hovercraft. What do you mean, no brakes in a hovercraft? No how brakes. do we stop? Well, you have to use your variable pitch propeller, which will give you a reverse and help you to stop like a boat. With a strong tailwind, the Air Rider can hit speeds over 100 kilometers an hour. With no brakes, this is going to be tricky. Okay, now is there anything before we get started that I absolutely should not do? You don't want to back the throttle off when you're doing about 50 or 30 kilometers an hour. You're going to torpedo into the water a little bit. You won't sink, or but you may throw your passengers into yourself or yourself into the dash. I will aim to not torpedo us. Let's get going. Okay, so Gary, what do I need to do to get started? Okay, so your ignition's here. You can power it up. Power it up. Ooh. Okay. And oh, it's inflating already. Straight away, I can tell this is one powerful little beast, but its unique design is what sets this hovercraft apart. These small inflatable cells are like little get-out-of-jail-free cards. If I hit a sharp rock and pop one, no problem. The rest will stay intact and the hovercraft will keep floating on a pocket of air. It feels almost like it's drifting. It so how does that work when you're on the water? That uh, works great when you're moving faster forward yeah. and you need to steer or follow a channel. You actually have to drift around the corners. The steering is deceptive. Just when I think I've got it under control. <laughs> that tree needed trimming anyway. Before I can take it to the water, I've got to master the spin. Quick turns help clear water from inside the cells for a smooth ride. But now you'll be able to spin. There you go. Great. Awesome job. Just pull, there you go. Okay, so you think I'm ready for the water? Absolutely. <laughs> you did great. That's perfect. It's time to put my new skills to the test. I know it serves a useful purpose, but pulling 360s is just so cool. The Air Rider is designed for land and water, but with its Zodiac base, this is where it really shines. This is where you can really drift around the corner. <laughs> for one thing, there's a lot less friction and way more speed. Now I know what a Bond girl feels like. You did great. You did great on the spins. You did great on speed. You did great on the drifting. Wow. You just need to work on your tree trimming. Just my tree trimming. Well, forget about getaway vehicle. I'm going to use this thing to get groceries from now on. What do you say, Gar?